go into the park in this area every day. It always feels really safe. It's very surprising. Now at five, San Francisco police are investigating a disturbing discovery at Golden Gate Park. A woman's body stuffed in a duffel bag. Good evening. I'm Greg Lee. And I'm Mike Meebach tonight. We now know the identity of the victim. KTVU's Christian Captain joins us live tonight from 22nd and Fulton with the late information. Christian. Yeah, this is where that body was discovered last night. Now, as you said, in just the last couple of hours, the medical examiner's office has confirmed the identity of that victim. And homicide investigators are looking into this case. San Francisco police say an alert passerby called them shortly before 730 Sunday night, saying they'd found a woman who appeared to be deceased. Police sources confirmed that the female victim, 37 year old Kelly Koike of San Francisco, was discovered inside a duffel bag. At this time, investigators are not releasing a lot of details, but they are calling the circumstances suspicious and homicide investigators are looking into it. Rachel Abbott lives nearby and says this is usually a quiet, safe neighborhood along the north side of Golden Gate Park. We weren't here this weekend, but we got back last night and walked past. We just live across the street and I mean, like saw all the caution tape around and all the police and firefighters. The body was discovered just as the three day Outside Lands Music Festival was winding down. At this point, since so little information has been released, it's impossible to say if the grim discovery had anything to do with the music festival. Outside Land organizers released a statement saying that the San Francisco Police Department is currently investigating the reported matter and all questions should be directed to their department. Neighbors say while the festival brings an economic boom to the area, they can't help but wonder if this suspicious death is somehow connected. I think that would be the assumption, yeah, is that with a big festival like that and like whatever's going on with that big of a crowd, that that would be the assumption is that it's associated with that. Now, I did talk with a San Francisco police captain earlier this afternoon. He tells me at this point he does not believe there's any reason for the community to feel threatened. Investigators, of course, asking anyone with any information and in particular, anybody who may have had video of this area last night to come forward with that information to help shed light on what may have happened out here. Uh, Mike, Greg, as you know, that Outside Lands Festival was winding down last night. So uh, by all accounts, this would have been a relatively active area at around 7 or 7.30. So they're really hoping, the police are hoping that somebody saw something and will help provide some information about what yeah. may have happened yeah, out here. For now, we're live uh, in San Francisco. Yeah, back to you guys. All right, Christian Gaffin, live in the city there. Christian, thank you. The body of Cap